So, Kim Middleton update, her friends are speaking out. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, please do. I would really appreciate it. It's just one click, guys. That's all it is. All we have to do, just one click to subscribe. That's it. Not asking for too much because I'm filming for you at 3 a.m. in the morning right now. Please do subscribe and let's get into this. Whoever these friends are or these sources are, these friends are code word for the palace. But this to me is a very interesting Daily Beast article from Tom Sykes, a royal correspondent. Kate, who has been almost entirely absent due to devastating cancer diagnosis, is now officially confirmed to maintain a much lower profile than before, with less frequent public engagements even after her full recovery is done. Sources say the Princess of Wales treatment for cancer is understood to be going well, but that her brush with mortality will lead her to focus on her family and children now. On the positive note, Kate is intending to travel to Balmoral for the traditional royal summer vacation, which coincides with friends telling the Daily Beast that her ongoing treatment for cancer is progressing well. It is thought the smaller Wales family are unlikely to travel this year to Tresco, a small island off the coast of Cornwall, where they've often spent summer holidays. However, the Daily Beast has been told that the couple are aiming to be in Balmoral. William and Kate both shoot. One friend of the couple told the Daily Beast, Kate has been exceptionally open and honest about her health, making two appearances before the summer break at Wimbledon and Trooping. This was a clear sign that she is doing well. This is what we are hearing privately. The friend added that they understood Kate was still receiving chemotherapy. The friend said it is obviously still an incredibly worrying time, but all the signs are that her cancer treatment is progressing well. Another source, a Buckingham Palace insider, said they understood there was no sense that Kate was expected to be back on duty for the traditionally busy period of royal engagements. The source said, there is still nothing in her diary. My understanding is that people are going to have get to her used to seeing a lot less of her now. The priority for her is going to be her children. Like a lot of people who have a brush with mortality, Kate is going to prioritise the things that matter to her now. In that case, her kids. The source added that ongoing concerns about King Charles's health were also likely to have shaped her new attitude. Charles is doing a magnificent job, and it's great to see. But it is noticeable to those of us who are aware of such things that the engagements are shorter and carefully scheduled. Charles' cancer hasn't gone away. The palace have said as much, and to be brutally honest, the once popular notion that he will live to a similar age as his mother or father is now less widespread. I think that that has very much focused Kate's mind on the fact that she wants to be with her family. Another friend of the wider family said that, that the royals were expected to descend on Balmoral for the opening of the grouse shooting. The friend said Balmoral is basically a very fancy Victorian hunting lodge. That is what you do up there. You go out shooting, you fish, and you have lunch in the hut. It is an important ritual for Kate and William to take their kids there. Neither Buckingham Palace or Kensington Palace responded to requests for comments on the family's summer plans. So it's officially been confirmed via this article that even after her full recovery, she is going to maintain a much lower profile. That she isn't going to reoccur with what she was doing before. Which means that Radar Online, when they broke the news that went viral that Kate will never be the same and will never return to the same capacity ever again, it was true. Because it's now been confirmed that less frequent public engagements and a lower profile after her full recovery. If she's maintaining a low profile because she wants to be with her children because of the cancer diagnosis that she has and she wants to spend as much time with them seeing Charles and the fact that he might die earlier, why would she still maintain that even after a full recovery? Doesn't make any sense, does it? You've now had a full recovery. You no longer have cancer. But yet you still want to maintain that low profile status quo. Why would that be the case? Because... Do you see, guys, where I'm going with this? I feel like there's a loop here where it's like, why would you still maintain that? And the brush with mortality, forgive me for being ignorant or rude, but it definitely sounds a bit dramatic to me. You don't have stage four lung cancer. I've just found out today somebody that I know has stage four lung cancer today. And, you know, three to four months tops, unfortunately, what most people have with stage four, unless some of them actually beat it, which is also very much possible. But it's a very sad state of affairs. If you had a full recovery, why are you also maintaining a low presence? Something else has happened behind the scenes, guys, that we don't know about. Something very bad. Because for you to maintain this lower presence, even after a full recovery, 
Why would that be the case? You're full, recovery, you're fine, you're back. Cancer's gone, but you still want to have that low recovery. It's been confirmed now that that is what Kate's going to be. We're not going to see her anymore. Barely at any engagements. That's It's a wrap. It's a whole different changed Kate. The Independent is reporting that Kate does not want any drama after the cancer treatment, claims the author of the new royal book. She is someone who solves problems and rises above the drama. Well, that's a lie. Um, and therefore, going through this treatment, you don't want to do any drama anymore and think that is something that she has experienced. That's what Independent is saying. But this, I don't know. It's just a very odd article to me. Even after your full recovery, you still want to be a ghost and not be seen. It's like she's refusing to do stuff. William Carter divorced her. She's got her way. She's won in some kind of way. Because when you are queen consort, when you are the queen to William, when King Charles passes, you need to travel a lot, babes, with him. Are you not going to be doing that? Are you just going to be sitting at home? Hmm, I don't know. Something about this article has just made me now sparked a new interest in this Kate saga. And I feel like we've been following it for over six months. But I feel like now I'm more intrigued. My interest was dwindling a lot in the past month, I'll admit. But after reading this article, something is shifting. Um, the confirmation of a lower presence, even after full recovery, means something has gone on. The health issues don't even make sense to me anymore. It seems to me like a cover-up for something else, for her to return as some kind of hero. Um, or they put that out there because she was dealing with divorce proceedings with William and they couldn't divorce because that would destroy the monarchy. I don't know. Something does not add up with this article when it comes to Kate. And I'm taking quite a few pauses when I'm discussing this because I'm genuinely confused by this article. Let me know if you guys have read this. Comment down below. Uh, do let me know what your thoughts are, please, because I'm very perplexed. Do subscribe. It's just one click to subscribe. I would appreciate it. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to be a member on this channel for supporting me, please do so. There is a member button. You can join the channel. Shout out to everybody that is, enjoying, that is joining. I really do appreciate it. something doesn't make sense that's what i want to say subscribe and this is weird and i'll catch you guys soon for another video